In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a histogram in Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, I've shown how, how to do this in Cy Davis because Cy Davis is much easier to use, but if you can't use Cy Davis, that's fine. You can do this in Excel, but there's no built-in tool to do, do this automatically. There's one that you can download as an add-on, but if you're using a computer that's not yours, uh, you can't really do that. So here we've got a random data set in inches, for example. Uh, and so what we'd like to do is construct a, a histogram, which is a graph showing if we separate the data set into bins, how many measurements go into each bin. In other words, uh, say, as is the case in this particular data set, the data goes from negative 1.5 inches to 1.5 inches. We can separate those bins into, say, one half inch increments and then see how many measurements lie in each increment. This gives us an approximation for the probability density function, or the derivative of the cumulative distribution plot. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we're going to do, same thing we always do, go ahead and copy the data so we have the original copy in case something happens. So I hit Control c to copy, Control v to paste, and then we're going to sort this data column by clicking on Data, and then Sort. It wants to expand the selection. We don't want to expand the selection, so we continue with the current selection. And we see that, yeah, there our data is negative 1.4 to 1.3. So we'll go from negative 1.5 to 1.5. So to do this, what we want to do is we're going to make a column over here and just call it bins. That really doesn't matter. You don't really have to do that, but it's just a reminder. And then in order for this to work correctly in Excel, we need to format these cells as text, otherwise it's going to try to convert what I want to name the cells uh, into a number. And so, for example, I want to go from negative 1.5, and like I said, let's do bins of 0 0.5 inches. So if I want to go negative 1.5 to negative 1.0, now that's saved as text. If that had been a number, it would be trying to do math with that, etc. Okay, and now let's say negative 1.0 to negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 to 0, 0 to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to 1, and 1 to well, 1.0 to 1 1.5. So just so we're nice and neat, let's call this 1.0. And then all we're going to do is literally count the numbers, the number of data points in each area. In other words, how many data points do I have from negative 1.5 to 1.0? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there are five data points there. Negative 1.0 to negative 0 0.5. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 0 0.5 to 0. So here we are, we can use the cell numbers to count. So from 17 down to 31. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 0 to 0 0.5. So here is 0 to 0 0.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0 0.5 to 1. 0 0.5 going up to 1.0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 1.0 to 1.5 is 3. So now we would like to plot this, and so what we can do is we can go ahead and select this data set, and this is just going to be a label on the x-axis and then this is just going to be the count. So let's generate, what we want to generate is a column plot. Uh, so let's go to insert and we want columns and uh, so what we want to do, we want to make a column plot with this data but the columns in a histogram do not have any space in between them. In other words, for this to be meaningful we need a continuous data set. So we're going to hit insert and then uh, column then we just want a clustered column, just a 2D plot. And here we can see, hey, there, there we go. Negative 1.5 to 1, we have 5. And so, you know, this looks like we expect, except we don't want these gaps here. To get rid of those gaps, click on your data set, left click, then right click, and hit Format Data Series. 
and here we can set the gap width. Set it to no gap and hit close and we can see there's our histogram. This legend doesn't really mean anything so let's delete it and let's give this axis some titles. We do this by going up to the chart tools while we selected our chart, uh, up to layout, then axis titles. Primary horizontal axis title, let's give it a title down here and let's say measurement in inches. If you have some more meaningful thing to, to give this like case weights or you know quarter diameters or something do that but make sure you include the uh, units and then we want to add a vertical axis so let's add a primary vertical axis we want oops, sorry axis titles uh, and we want a rotated title and this is just the number of measurements and there we have a histogram